Hey guys, somebody posted a comment on YouTube saying that they're taking a Java bootcamp and it's not sinking in. They don't understand. Am I stupid? That was the question basically. Am I too stupid to learn Java? Well, it could be, but I really, 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 really doubt it. 99% of the times when you're running into problems with programming, learning a programming language, especially Java, that's normal. It's normal for everybody, and 99% of the times, you just have to give yourself some time and a chance. So, as I've taught in other videos, when you're learning how to code, that's the hardest part is the beginning. The hardest part is the beginning, excuse me. So you have to give yourself time, and that means uh, be willing to proceed with the lessons where you don't quite understand everything as you go. That's okay. The important thing is that you frequently write code. You should write at least 20 minutes of code a day. Even if you don't understand the code, make errors, break it, fuss around with it, etc. You got to get through that, uh, that initial hurdle where you don't understand. You have to get through that initial hurdle where everything is a black box. If you can get past that initial hurdle, when you get past it, it's not if, if you just put some effort, you will get past it. Once you do, then the whole world opens up to you and becomes much easier. So keep that in mind. First of all, when you're first starting off, it's the hardest. Number two, you have to understand that uh, you have to expose yourself, again, on a regular basis. Better 20 minutes a day, every day, uh, over two weeks until it finally clicks, than trying to sit down for five hours just frustrated. A little every day is a good because what you have to essentially do is literally train your brain to think and process information in a totally different way. If you haven't written software before, you're literally training your mind how to think in a totally different way. So it's going to take time for your brain to adapt. Just like if you are going to the gym and you're learning martial arts, when you started, you know, I don't know, if you started uh, doing judo, you know, the first day you're not going to be a break fall master. The first day, you're not going to be uh, uh, being able to throw people easily. It takes time to develop the skill and the, the body mechanic, right? Same thing with um, weightlifting. It takes time. You're not going to go one day and all of a sudden you're going to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. You've got to build it up over time. Now, in all these cases, whether you're learning software development whether you are uh, bodybuilding or learning a martial art, you have to give your brain time to assimilate the data. So there's gotta be a rest period. The rest period is as important as anything else. And as Arnold Schwarzenegger was saying, I saw a video recently, they're asking about training and stuff. He said the worst thing you can do, we well, didn't say the worst, but he said the, the thing you shouldn't do is overtrain. Same thing with learning a code. You shouldn't try to push it too hard. You've got to give your mind a chance to uh, assimilate the data. Trust me, once you get past that initial hurdle where you start developing the ability to read code, I call it the nerd eyes, the nerd eyes, then it just comes much, much more quickly. Another point, a lot of these coding boot camps are taught by people who uh, don't know how to teach. That's just the facts. Teaching is a skill. It's a talent. People go to school for years to learn how to teach. And unfortunately, unfortunately, a lot of these boot camp teachers, I've seen, the ones I've seen anyway, they don't know how to teach. So I'm sure some do, but a lot of them don't. So if you're being taught by a boot camp and you don't understand what they're saying, that could be it. It might not be it, but that could be it. I've heard, that's, I've heard this a lot of times. Another thing is that Java is not the first choice uh, of a first language, in, in my opinion, first programming language. Why? Because Java... Though it's a powerful language, um, that power comes with complexity. So there's a lot of things you have to be, you have to account for when you're writing Java code, but you don't have to account for if you're writing Python or JavaScript or PHP or, or even Ruby. So I wouldn't be learning Java as my first language. That, that's not a good choice. For me, it would be the JavaScript or Python or PHP. Much easier. And the thing is, once you learn... Python, for example. I'll use Python because it's so popular. Once you learn Python, even though it's not as complex as Java in many respects, once you learn Python, if you want to learn Java, it would be 10 times easier to learn Java because Python, though simpler than Java, in terms of the code that you write, 
uh, though it's simpler, they share like 95% of the same behaviors and principles. It's like learning to drive a car. If you learn to drive a Porsche, uh, you could drive a, an Audi, you can drive a BMW, right? It's not a perfect analogy, but I think it kind of makes sense. Or learning to play an instrument. But once you learn music, once you understand how to play guitar, for you to pay, play bass, not so difficult, right? Because it's, they're both stringed instruments and you understand music, music is music is music. So that's a big part of it as well. So yeah, Java is a first language. It wouldn't have been my choice. I would not teach Java as a first language simply because it's got all kinds of details in there which you don't have with easier languages like Python. And it's not just me. In fact, many schools and universities are moving away from Java as the first language and they're teaching uh, Python as the, first, as the first language because of that very reason. So there you have it, guys. If you're feeling frustrated, if it's not sinking in, you're trying to learn it, programming, whether it be Java or Python or C Sharp or whatnot, it's probably, it's probably not because you're stupid. Probably not. You just, A, need to give yourself some time. B, if you're at a boot camp, a lot of these teachers don't know how to teach, unfortunately. C, um, you should choose an easier language like a Python versus a Java because of the nature of the languages, right? Java is very complex, relatively speaking. And uh, again, it's about repetition. It's about consistency. Don't give up. Don't push too hard. 20, 20 minutes a day will go a long way. Eventually, I promise you, you will develop the ability to read code and understand code, but you just got to give your brain some time and downtime. You have to give your brain some time to rest. So Monday, do 30, 40 minutes until you get frustrated. You're like, okay, I've had enough. Take Tuesday off. Come back Wednesday, blah, 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 blah. What you'll find is then as you progress, your productivity will increase quite a bit and you start learning more and more and more. And all of a sudden, 20 minutes, your 20 minutes will be a short period of time for you. All of a sudden, you'll be able to do it two hours, no problem. And then you'll be able to do daily instead of every other day, et cetera, et cetera. So you just got to build up to it like anything else in life. That's it. We'll talk soon. Bye. Thank you.